All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to boost your FPS and overall performance in Valorant. This is the new act. Um, it's episode 6, act 1. And uh, like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to boost your performance. Some of these will be changes in Valorant itself, so you guys can do this. And some will be tips on like your just PC in general and Windows 10 stuff. This will also work if you have Windows 11. It's pretty much the same thing. So starting off, uh, we're going to go into our settings in Valorant here. And these settings right here, these don't really matter. These are just, I guess, preferences. Same with like controls and crosshair and all that stuff. So we're going to go over to the video tab, uh, starting off display. You're going to want to have this on full screen. Um, the only reason I don't have it on full screen is because when I record, my screen goes all dark. I'm not sure why. But yeah, usually I do have this on full screen. Uh, it helps with your input delay and just frames, makes it more stable, stuff like that. Uh, resolution, you can turn this down if you want. Basically, all this will do is just... Like it says, change your resolution to whatever you put it to. Uh, obviously, the lower it goes, the more FPS you will get. And 1920 by 1080 being the highest for me, which will look the best, but it will give me less FPS than these ones right here. And then aspect ratio method. I'm going to be honest, I don't know what this really does, but I've had better luck on letterbox. I've just had like better frames and stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is like a in-depth thing about it. So you can read that if you want and see whatever works best for you. And then this stuff, limit FPS on battery. And this is just for laptop, I'm pretty sure. So I don't really bother with that. Uh, limiting your FPS in menus. This is doesn't really matter either because you don't really play in the menu. And then in your back, this one you minimize your game. So it's just running in the background. This will cap your FPS at whatever you put it to. And then limit FPS always. I have mine on on and i have a 165 hertz monitor so i put mine five above just to have some extra space or you can turn this off just to see what works best for you but my suggestion is if you're going to put it on make sure to put it five above your monitor's refresh rate and then for nvidia reflex low latency put this on on plus boost and then here for graphics quality um you can pretty much just copy all my settings and bloom doesn't really affect your performance but it does make lights and your guns look better like i'll try and show an example here so this is with Bloom off. This is what your gun would look like, uh, at least guns that light up and stuff like that. And then this is when you turn Bloom on. As you can see, there's a big difference. Your gun just kind of like glows and the light travels a bit more, if you know what I mean. And like I said, it doesn't really affect your performance. And then stats, this doesn't really affect your performance either. This just shows like um, technical stuff. If you want to see your ping or your packet loss or your frames, that's all right here. And then also one more thing, if you want to reduce your input delay, if you have a ton of friends on Valorant, uh, you should remove the ones that you don't play with if it's really bad, because if you do remove a lot of friends, you will notice a slight difference on your performance. All right, so that's everything for the Valorant settings. I'm going to show you guys all the settings in Windows uh, from now on. All right, so starting off, we're going to go into our NVIDIA control panel. This will only work if you have an NVIDIA card. So AMD users, I'm pretty sure you have something similar to this, so you might be able to like copy along. You can try. All right, so these are all my settings right here underneath the uh, manage 3d settings as you can see you can probably just copy all these if you want to i'll scroll through them slowly now these are the ones that work best for me so if these don't work good for you you can also try to um mess around with it a little bit and see what works best for you but these are in general the best ones that work for me and then you can also go to program settings and you can add valorant here so what this does is um you can basically change the settings just for a specific game. So if you're having FPS problems on like just Valorant or just Fortnite, whatever it is, you can change them just for this. All right, so that's all we need to do with um, NVIDIA control panel. So we can exit out of that. Next, we're going to go into our power plan. So first thing, go into the search bar, search up edit power plan. And this little battery thing should show up. Click on that. And when you're in here, go to the very top, click power options. And these might not show for you, so it might just be these, but if there is an arrow, click the drop down and it should show either ultimate performance or high performance. And personally, high performance works better than ultimate performance for me. That's just because my PC isn't like crazy. I have a pretty like average PC and it says obviously for ultimate performance, um, it works better on high end PCs. So put on high performance, click change plan settings, make sure these are good. So turn off display, never put the computer to sleep on never and save your changes. You can close out of that. All right. So another thing you can do is update your graphics drivers. Now I haven't opened this in a while. I'm not going to lie. So it is updating right now, but make sure your drivers are always up to date. And if the latest driver that you get is like unsteady or just not good in general, you can um you can download version 457.30 for your nvidia driver that's like the one that worked best for me but i do recommend keeping them updated at all times just make sure you're always on top of it and also on this topic make sure your pc is always updated like keep windows 10 updated and stuff or windows 11 whatever you're on okay so here it is um as you can see i do have a download ready i'm not going to download it right now though because when i'm recording it might just mess up the recording and i don't want to risk that so yeah make sure you keep your stuff updated like I said, all right, another thing is going into your notification settings and basically turning off all your notifications. You can do it right here uh, really quickly, unless you want to keep some of them on and some of them off. Just 
depends on your preference but keeping these off does help your performance as well and plus notifications on pc are just kind of annoying so yeah, you can do that quickly and that should affect your performance as well and lastly for the thing i got in this video is going into your task manager so just right click on your task bar and go into task manager and let this open up and then you're going to go to your startup sorry um going to startup right here and basically disabling all the ones that you don't use so all you have to do is right click the program that you want to change and click enable or disable and you can see the startup impact here so some of these have none some of them are high or medium so like i said enable the ones that you actually need and use on a daily basis and disable the ones that you never use that just slow your computer down and that will run in the background while you're using it that's pretty much all i have in this video for you if this did help make sure to leave a like in this video and i do have a discord server in the description if you need any help or if you just want to join and talk to people but yeah like i said thanks for watching and um subscribe if you're new